Now, my parents thought I had been cared for and put to bed by the servants. When I told them next morning what had happened, they couldn't believe it and took me to a doctor immediately. He said that the bones had been broken, but were knitted perfectly now. From that day on, the hand never bothered me. I merely cite a few of these instances as examples because they are so simple and so natural that all may do the same. I have seen where the building itself responded to the love poured out by an entire audience. As the immortal Watama Buddha has said, quote, to give five minutes to the real realization of true divine love is greater than to pass a thousand bowls of food to the needy because in giving forth love, you help every soul in the universe. End quote. It melts right down, of course, to the words we use and the thoughts and feelings that we have. Words are things. Thoughts are things. Where your thoughts are, you are. When we learn to discipline and control our thoughts and feelings and use only the positive, constructive words sent forth with divine love, our body and mind respond to that righteousness or right useness. The right use and selection of words is of vital importance, but equally important is the feeling behind those words. For feeling is the motivating power that makes the words live or live. This is where divine love enters in. It doesn't mean we are to go around saying love, love, love. We speak the words once with feeling, with vision, with conviction, with acceptance. And instantly, the law moves into action to bring it into fulfillment. Before ye have spoken, I have answered. It is already there. In the words of Buddha, quote, Use love. Concentrate upon it. Treat yourself with love, morning, noon and night. As you sit down to partake of your food, use love. Think it, feel it, and your food will taste a lot better. End quote. There are many gems given forth by Buddha which have never been printed. The poet Tagore used many of them in his writings. He was a man who knew how to use and express love. He knew it. He was. He is. Quote, love is far the most important thing of all. It is the golden gate of paradise. Pray for the understanding of love. Meditate upon it daily. It casts out fear. It is the fulfillment of the law. It conquers multitudes of sins. Love is abundantly invisible. Love will conquer all. There is no disease that enough love will not heal today. enough love will not open. No gulf that enough love will not bridge. No wall that enough love will not throw down. No sin that enough love will not redeem. End quote. Taken from the cloud of the unknowing.